My name is Khadija Ibrahim and I go to the University of Connecticut. I was a freshman two years ago and then I took a gap year. So this fall, I'm going to be a rising sophomore. Hi, I'm Ashley Pitter. I'm a rising sophomore at the University of Connecticut and I'm majoring in biomedical engineering. My name is Christian Hyden and I went to the University of Connecticut and I just graduated in 2021. My name is Nolani Liz. Um, I just graduated from the University of St. Joseph um, with a bachelor's of science in nursing. I was like really, really nervous when I started college because I'm like a first generation college student. So I had like nobody in the house to talk to like, what is college like? What I'm supposed to do? How should I connect to people and stuff like that? And I've always been like very, passionate about my education. I really wanted to go to college. I really wanted to get a degree. Like this is, I'm just like very academically driven. So like I would just give up anything to go to college. Like I have given a lot of things up just to go to college. At first it was challenging because everything was new to me, but I seem to find my ground. My favorite part of U my UConn experience so far is my engineering class. It was my only in-person class. So I got to interact with all my peers and the instructor and I was able to create a project, which I'm kind of proud of. <laughs> so my college experience was a little different than what the average student's college experience would be, I'd say. My time was spent outside, outside of the classroom working on building uh, the organization I started when I was in high school, Lavo International. And so I took classes and I majored in uh, applied in resource economics, which allowed me to kind of look at international development. How does the agriculture go into uh, building stronger economies, building stronger communities, which is really kind of directly related to the work I was trying to do. I started at an all women's college my freshman year, and then they made the transition to go co-ed. That just was like a beautiful transition into like a better opportunity to um, not only socialize and build off of the friendships that I had too, but grow academically with new students. Every year I learned something different about myself, about um, how I wanted to leave the college and start my career. One of the big things with school is financially, the burden of having to pay something out of pocket is, it can be heavy. And for me, not having to worry about that helped me to focus on school. It was like a weight lifted off my back because I was stressed thinking about how am I going to pay for this? How is my family going to pay for this? So when I realized that when I found out that I earned the scholarship, I got a scholarship, I was happy like, yes, I can breathe now. So it was it was a lot of help. I still remember that day when I got my scholarship, I got back from school and I was just laying on the couch and I was constantly worrying about if I'm going to get the scholarship or not. And then I saw this email and it says that you got a scholarship. I was like running around the house. I was going crazy. Like my mom was just like, what even happened? It has made my college experience easier, less stressful, and has allowed me to focus on uh, Kind of investing in myself more. I just would love to say thank you. I am super, super thankful for the money they have given me and they really, really have made a change, a difference in my life. So I'm super, super happy and thankful to them. I would like to say thank you a lot because the scholarship really helped change my life going in a better direction, helped me a step forward to accomplishing my goals. Thank you so much to, to everyone that um, that donated, that's a part of the foundation, that gives any of their time, energy, money. It, it really helped me so much in college and I, I'm so grateful and that me and my family talk about it all the time when we talk about who supported me in the four years and the Hartford Foundation is definitely a part of the group of people that made my college experience possible and enjoyable. Advice that I would have for um, upcoming Hartford Foundation scholars is to ask for help and network. It's really important and you, it's like you have someone in your corner when you're just starting out. And I feel like the connection is really important. Number one, I think I would tell them is to explore because there's so many options at colleges. There are certain groups that you might um, fit in more than there are others. So I know that most of the colleges do have involvement fairs and stuff where they talk about clubs and stuff. I would recommend 100% to go to those because you never know what you can find. I found so many people just going to the involvement fair that helped me make connections. Class is just one part of 
be a college experience. Almost every university or college that you're gonna go to is gonna have a ton of uh, opportunities and resources outside of the classroom. Everyone there is really working to help you get opportunities uh, and, and, and be, a, be better. Enjoy the four years. It goes by really fast and college is a beautiful experience. And I learned so much about myself and um, about who I wanted to be after college and um, take it, run with it and, and enjoy it.